So you guys really liked my killing Saitama video. No, seriously, you really liked it. Like the views just keep on climbing. But I also heard you loud and clear when you were all like, Oh crow, please give us new videos. So that's what I'm going to do. But I need new units to try and kill Saitama with. So what I'll do first is look at subscribers in the past month and try and find something. Okay. I kind of want to grab a big skibbity. Wait, I have big skibbity. Well, in that case, let's grab some new gods. God of total annihilation can kill anything. Let's find out. God himself. God of bows. I'm the chosen one. God ASMR. God of death and life can kill Saitama? God of death 2.0. God <gasps> Grayson. Sure. Okay, I think that's enough. Let me just add those gods to a faction just like this. I'm also going to add the big skibbity units. Titan Drill Man. Wow. Sure. And maybe this Clock Titan and the Titan TV Man and maybe some of these units. You know what? Just grab them all. Throw them all at Saitama. This is going to go great. For our battlefield, we shall be here by the ancient people. And I shall slap Saitama down at their footsteps. You there, one punch man. <laughs> Stand there amongst the ancient ruins and be prepared for battle. I don't know why I'm being so dramatic. I'm just bored. And now, Saitama, you shall die to the god Grayson, complete with cool shades and a pointy head. Go, Saitama. Eat the flames. Be prepared to be destroyed. Sorry, Grayson. I gave you a chance. Uh, fine. Delete Grayson. And now we will grab the god ASMR. Why is he known as the ASMR god and not like the god of everything? There's an apple on his head, bandanas, multiple colors, lenses, and, and bracelets, and everything. Ooh, he teleported behind One Punch Man. Very shocking. And then received a punch in the face. Not shocking. And got destroyed. Not shocking. You are worth this ASMR. God of Death 2.0. Dare we ask whatever happened to 1.0? Are you better? Are you stronger? At least he's got those Aaron card numbers. Also, pause, pause, pause. Apparently, Saitama is absolutely shocked to see the 2.0 version. Look at his eyes. Oh, it looks like Saitama's holding him. Oh, we've got the super peasant punches. And then a swift punch in the face. Every fight ends the same way with a ball of fire from the straight strength of the punch. Stupid unit. God himself can God himself. Ooh, shiny. Guys, look how shiny he is. Oh my god, he's like glowing. He's so shiny, shiny gold. His fists are gold. His eyes are weird. And hopefully the shine will help add some power. Whoa, what is God himself doing? God himself just got punched. God himself died before things could happen. What were you summoning God himself? Are you summoning demons from the deep? I thought you were God, not Satan. God is trash. Instead, the God of total annihilation can kill anything. It is claimed that this unit can kill anything, but can it kill the man with which can do one punch? <laughs> can he? <laughs> oh, it's embarrassing. God of bows, I'm the chosen one. Oh, look at the cute little teddy bear. He's just the cutest little teddy bear. He's the chosen one. And the chosen one was chosen to go to the sun. Because that's where he was about to go. He was going to the sun. Nope. No choosing. Apparently, this one can kill Satama. Not Saitama. Saitama. You know what? I'm just going to start the fight. I'm just going to start the fight. Let's see. Dark Hands of God. Okay. And then it died. It can kill Saitama. Dark Hands of God threw Saitama into the dirt. One Punch Man didn't even care. And then punched this guy to death. Guys, I'm having no hope. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to summon upgraded TV man, this upgraded TV man, and this upgraded cameraman, and this drill giant. All. All of them. Every single one of them gets to fight One Punch Man. Look at this. One Punch Man is honestly one punching every single unit. Oh, that unit survived. No, no, wait. He didn't. He was killed by Saitama, like everyone else. Let's add on. Let's grab Clock Titan and this Christmas Blackheart and this other TV man. And you know what? Let's just add all the other gods. Everyone. All of them. Grab one of every unit. This doesn't matter. Just doesn't matter. All of them. Everyone. Boom. The whole battlefield is every single unit I put into the faction for the purposes of this video. And now Saitama is getting crowd controlled by the dark hands of God and being juggled by another God. I'm just gonna zoom out and see if we can make heads and tails. Oh, we've got banishing blades, we've got all sorts of attacks. And where over here is the One Punch Man? 
in all of this. Ooh, we've got some crazy laser beams. Satama, who just serious punched the unit's way. Look, he's fine. He's perfectly fine. Nope, he's teleporting. He's moving so fast, he's teleporting. He's honestly right here in on both of these units. This is insane. One Punch Man is so overpowered. He's so overpowered. He won. And One Punch Man won. And One Punch Man won. And you know what he doesn't win? He's not gonna win this next fight. What about 300 halflings? Just gonna slap the ring down here, swap the sides, place Saitama in the middle, and then the time has come for us to summon 300 hobbits. 300 adults, remember, they're not children. Well, I'm only at 200, so maybe one more circle will do it. I need 16 more, so I'm just gonna slip them in here. Uh, uh. Uh, there we go. Who wants to watch One Punch Man beat up a bunch of children? I mean, come on, what's the worst that could happen? My god, this is unfair. Yeah, the hobbits never really stood a chance. Let's be real here. Saitama versus super peasants? Uh, we'll just slap the Saitama down right here. And let's start with one super peasant. Pretty sure we know how this is going to end. It ends in a ball of fire. One is not good enough. How about three? I still don't think this is going to get the job done. I'm not going to lie. Unless they knock him off the map, but that's just cheating. Nope, Saitama wins. We need more. Uh, let's go up to six. If I was facing six super peasants, I would be terrified. Uh, peasants go flying, peasants go flying, peasants go flying, and Saitama wins again. Ten. Ten super peasants? Is that enough? My god, he's going to town on them like they don't even stand a chance. One Punch Man almost looks bored fighting them. And a red victory. I'm not shocked. How many is this? Uh, let's go to 50. Have you ever seen 50 super peasants at once? I haven't. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Don't go over the edge. Don't go over the edge. There's only one. Saitama won. How about Saitama versus the unnamed peasant? I like how we're escalating to the unnamed peasant already. Just skipping a bunch of units. I mean, it's like a bunch of nines versus a bunch of nines. Honestly, I don't know how this fight is going to go. I can't remember ever testing this. Can Saitama even punch the unnamed peasant? Um... Are we going to be trapped here till the end of time as this fight continues? I'm going to call this one a draw. So, no, the answer's no. What about Saitama versus, like, a thousand Ballista Bolts? Summon Benny the Bard, and then activate our god powers. One thousand Ballista Bolts straight into the groin, and it barely tickled him. Well, in that case, what if I summoned even more? I'm going to be here a while. I don't mean to be this close to your chest and to your groin, but, um, I have a job to do. This is gonna hurt! Oh, look at him contort! Oh, you were like a slinky. You were like a jello man, and it still wasn't enough to remove you. We need a different god power. Or, how about more? <laughs> it still wasn't enough. It still wasn't enough. Why? What about harpooners? Swap the line to a circle, put one punch man in the middle, and then around the outside, just kind of circle him with harpooners. Who better shoot their harpoons quick? Because that's what happens. He kind of just punches them. I need more harpooners. 38 is not enough. Let's open the circle a bit and go more to like 50 or 60. Come on, harpooners. You can do it. Shoot quickly. Nope. He's Saitama is just too fast. Can I put a distraction right here in the middle? Like if I just put a, a, a squire here and a squire here, can they distract him? Please act as a distraction long enough for the harpoons to work. Yeah, I dodge. Okay, harpoon. Now, you can't even contain him. You can't kill him. You can't contain him. What about Saitama in lava? Just gonna pop him down over here and then summon enough units to keep him busy while hopefully he kind of collapses in the lava field. And then some bards up here just to buy time. Okay, Saitama, look at him fall into the lava pit. He's honestly kind of like swimming in it under the ground like he's just kind of having fun down here he's slowly sinking and consecutive normal punches even when he's inside lava i like how all the squires are going in there kind of like lemmings just flying to their death um has anyone seen saitama i'm surprised he hasn't used his speed to get out of the lava field let's just go on in and oh there he is blinking Having, having a lovely time down in the lava. You know, I've never been down here before. This is really kind of cool and really kind of weird. Well, the squires are falling into the lava. The, the bards have all fallen to their death. Benny, 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 what are you guys doing? And um, in the end, Saitama is down here just uh, going for a swim and not having a care in the world. This doesn't work. Okay, what about a black hole? First, we uh take one punch man and we drop him down right over here. And then we take... 
halfling, halflings, 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 just, just, just halflings. These are, mm, that might be too much. Okay, let's be a bit smarter about this. I mean, these are gonna turn into black holes. And then over here, bennies. Hopefully, Saitama doesn't simply punch all the black holes. There we go. They pop like weasels and if one don't kill all the bennies please if one of these black holes could just do their whoa where'd he go he teleported no 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 don't teleport to the bennies sacrificial distraction bennies all around the black holes there we go black holes pop and now he's busy with the distraction bennies that's right stay around the black hole saitama just just join the bennies look they spin like tops in the black holes just become one with them there we go saitama in a black hole and now we see if the black hole is actually capable of killing him even though he just did a serious punch out of a black hole oh Oh, I'm sorry. Did you just use your super speed and literally leave a black hole? Yeah, no, this didn't work. This isn't gonna work at all. What about angel spears? I know they're called sin breakers, but I call them angel spears. These are summoned by the seraphim and they banish things deep into, I don't even know where. Okay, so let's say a hundred seraphim summoned a hundred swords all at once onto Saitama creating Hold on, let me back up. Just, just, just look at this. A maelstrom of holy god energy. I'm currently using slow-mo, and my computer can't even handle this much power. And Saitama doesn't even care. Okay, I'm running out of ideas. Clearly, the Seraphim itself isn't even going to stand a chance. I mean, if I summoned a hundred Seraphim arrows, this thing's just, it's not, it's not. It's gonna be a, a draw. I can think of two things that can kill Saitama is Billy, the hero of all tabs. The hero of all tabs uses this beam and this beam can actually deal enough damage to kill Saitama, but clearly we need more than one. It's gonna take like 15 Billies, the heroes of all tabs. Oh, can you hear that? Can you hear that? It wasn't enough. I was actually wrong. Fine, 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 fine. Over here, over here, over here. Over here more than 50 billies i'm sorry for your eardrums jeez i'll turn that down in the editing i was wrong they nerfed billy he still can't kill saitama fine fine there's one thing that can kill saitama watch and that one thing is located over here in the experimental faction and that is mod mod is a cube and this cube immediately wins the game and it says target exterminated blue victory but i want to check i want to make sure that he is Dead, dead, dead. Where is he? Where is he? I'm just trying to find his corpse. Where's his body? His his body isn't even here. What about the chaos peasant? You know the guy whose balls contorts limbs? That's a phrase. Uh, chaos peasant over here. Chaos peasant over here. Chaos peasant over here. Maybe one of their balls can completely contort him. Here they come. Where's Saitama? Where is he? Wait a minute. Blue victory. Uh, what? What? You can contort Saitama with balls? Chaos balls. Chaos balls are the answer. The balls impact into Saitama like this. Watch, or, and then Saitama turns into whatever this is. Does this mean I can actually see how much damage I'm dealing to One Punch Man? Ever thought a health bar wasn't enough? Do you want accurate damage descriptions? This mod is for you. I would like accurate damage descriptions. I think this will be great. Upon installation, the mod will work automatically. You can disable or customize it in the gameplay settings tab. Sick. Oh, and this is what it looks like. Let's just give it a manual download. Where in the world did I put Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? Okay, on the screen you see the blood mod, the gore mod, and the damage numbers mod in all its glory. But these numbers are really small. In the immortal words of Greystone Plays, rookie numbers. Let's take these numbers for a spin. I'm just gonna grab a couple clubbers like that. And over here, I'm gonna grab a couple of protectors like that. And let's see what these numbers look like. Oh, look at that, a 12 and a 30. And this clubber is fighting without a head and another 30 in the sky. Oh, 120, did you see that? That was a big number. Okay, let's um, let's be real here. 120, not that big. 119, it's a beautiful, fat, giant number, but we gotta go bigger. Let's grab some more powerful units. I wanna see how large these numbers can get. Give me the king. And he's gonna fight Mr. Death himself. How much damage do these units deal? Big slash from Mr. Death himself. Look at that, it's actually multiple hits. There's a 49, a 50, and then a 400. Very cool. How about King Philip? Oh, another 400, that's 400 every time. Interesting, King Philip, 440. King Philip's sword deals more damage than the scythe. So far, we've seen 440. 
Can we get even bigger? Yeah, Zeus is lightning bolts on a bunch of squires. This is probably a bad idea. Here we go. Um, 50? Where's the chain reaction? 50. There should be a chain reaction. I wanted like chain lightning to happen. It, there's, there's no chain lightning. <laughs> Look at all the little tiny numbers. A three, a two, a one, a 153, a 160, an 83, a 160. I wanted chain lightning. What about some slightly modded units? What about the greater dragon? I want to see how much damage that fire breath can deal. I mean, this is going to be perfectly fine. What's the worst that's going to happen? Slow mo. The fire breath is currently above the squire's heads. Just imagine being one of these squires. You look up and there's fire breath above you and you know, you know it's coming to get you. There we go. Now we're talking and it seems they're actually small numbers. A three, a one, a one, a four, a three, a two. They're just tiny numbers, but there's lots of them. Lots and lots and lots of tiny numbers from the fire breathness. Oh, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. A ballista. How much damage does that deal? I gotta know. I gotta know. Billy, the ballista bolt boy, is about to launch a ballista at these guys. I'm waiting for the moment. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. There it goes. Here it goes. The moment before impact. Maximum slow mo. 2,000 damage. And this guy actually took 39 damage somehow. 2,000 damage. And this part of his body is making a beautiful red blood display. It's a blood rainbow. It's a blood bow. Full speed. And the torso is literally gone into the nether. Question? I have a question. I'm gonna summon uh, Ice Giant. Ice, 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 ice Giant. And then over here, we're gonna put lovely Larry. But we're not done yet. We are going to enable God Powers. With my God Powers, does it actually show the damage numbers? Oh no, I've got some of the modded God Powers. Oh no, no, no. Give me just a regular one, please. There we go, a regular arrow. Will it show the arrows damage? Uh, no. Oh, it did. It did. 190. There it is. 190, 190. Okay. Okay. In that case, let me fire a fireball. A fi fireball. Fireball. Oh, he's building. You can actually see the fire damage coming off. All the little numbers of fire damage. It's awesome. You can see him slowly taking tons and tons of fire damage. It's great. Oh, a tank round? I want to know this one. Here we go. Oh, oh, I, I just killed him. I just killed him. Let me try that tank round again. Where's the damage? Did anyone see the damage number? It's in there somewhere. I don't know where the damage number is. I lost sight of it. Him with another tank round? Oh, there it is. 2,000. Does that say 2,000? It does say 2,000 damage. The same as a ballista bolt. Is that the maximum? Can we go past the maximum? It is time for science. We're going to make a brand new unit. And this brand new unit needs some, some quick clothes. He's a hot dog. He just needs to be a hot dog, that's all. In his hands, he shall have a weapon. We're just gonna give him a standard bow and arrow. I'll give him some hit points just so he doesn't die immediately. But here's the thing, damage times one. We'll leave his damage at one. We'll call him damage test dog. And we will take our damage test dog and see how much damage he does with a times one multiplier. Ready? Uh, uh, damage test dog, can you please? Oh my God, the, the length of time it takes for him to reshoot is a mistake. Look at that. And Damage test dog took us back to the head. Let damage test. Oh, 440. Let damage test dog take a shot. I want to see how much damage he does to you, Mr. King. Phil. Oh, he missed again. Is it because he's shooting it one handed? Okay, now he's going to shoot it two handed. Much better. Let's try this again. Damage test dog shooting King Philip for 190 damage. That's the times one multiplier. Now we're going to take the times one multiplier and make it times two. And I'll increase the attack speed so we can, like, shoot. Faster. We'll just recreate our test. Damage dog right here. King Philip, right there. And now we will see if that damage was actually doubled. Slow mo activated, waiting for the moment the arrow impacts into King Philip. 380. It did, in fact, double. Oh, King Philip, you don't know what's about to come and get you. Yeah, we'll just make this a times 10 now for science. Damage test dog. Now at our times 10 multiplier, we're gonna see just how much damage our dog deals to King Philip and, and, and you missed you hit him in the foot. Like you absolutely missed. You had one job damage test dog. When you have to restart the fight because your damage test dog is horrible at shooting. There we go. The damage is 1900 times 10. Let's increase that number even higher. Damage times 50. Can we break that seemingly barrier of 2000 damage waiting for damage test dog? How much damage is it? How much damage? That starts with a nine. Nine. Five. Ladies and gentlemen, we can break 2,000 damage. How 
Hi, can we go for the damage? Oh my damage test dog, you are about to deal 500 times damage. We're just gonna take our damage test dog and put him over here, and then I'm gonna get a bunch of uh, hobbits, cause dealing damage to hobbits is always fun. Give me that 500 times damage multiplier. You can't miss, there's a pile of hobbits right in front of you, little halflings, you cannot. 95 damage, 95,000 damage a shot. That's insane, but it's not nearly big enough. Again, quoting the wonderful Gray still plays rookie numbers. Also kind of looks like the hobbits are eating the hot dog. <laughs> That's gruesome, man. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the damage. We're gonna put uh, a three, a nine, a six, an eight, a five, a seven, a three, a nine, a zero. Uh, what, what is that? What is that? Three hundred ninety-six million eight hundred and fifty-seven thousand three hundred and ninety. I mean, sure. Let's the worst that can happen. Let's put him down on a nice wide open area so that we can't miss. And I'll put down my little hobbits. And now we're gonna see just how much damage this bow is going to deal to a hobbit with hundreds of millions of damage multiplier. This bow shot is going to be disgusting. Slow mo. Here we go. The moment, the impact. Where's the where's the damage numbers? Sir, 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 I demand damage numbers. Okay, they're they're making damage numbers. Is there a, a limit visually to the size of the damage number? Let me just try this one more time, just to be sure. Just to be sure. I'm not seeing a damage number. There might be a limit. Let me double check my unit. Okay, so the number is actually still there. What if I remove two zeros and we just have what is that? Three million? Just 3.9 million. We'll, we'll try that. We'll tone down the numbers a bit just to see if it'll actually show up. We may have already broken the game. Please work, please work, please work, please work. And we'll just put a couple of cloppers over here. Great. Show me the damage. Show me the numbers. No, no numbers. Three million times damage. Made the numbers too big, it seems. Second shot, still no numbers. How big can we go until it's too big? Third shot, lots of blood, no numbers. Let's go back to our damage multiplier. We're at 3 million. I'm gonna tone that down to 300. Th Wait, hold on. We weren't at 3 million. Did we not overwrite the number? I'm gonna put 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's 1 million times. We're gonna try that. Overwrite the unit. And you know, just to double check, I'm actually gonna open the unit back up just to make sure it's actually at a million damage. We need to be sure we cannot afford any mistakes in this calculation. Boom, one million damage. Let's see if the number shows up. Let's fight in heaven because if you're doing enough damage, you're you're basically a god. Hot dog man and a handful of squires. Show me the damage. Show me the damage. We've been waiting patiently for a big number. And, and, and the hot dog missed. There, there it is. The big number arrow going way over here. Good job, Mr. Hot Dog. Shot the ground. Like, wh what are you doing? Hot Dog Man, you have one job. Do your job. Shoot somebody in the face. You missed them both. You missed all three of them. Do I need to summon more squires so you just can't miss? Come on, you stupid failure of a lunch item. Get it. Why did you shoot the ground? Pick a squire, any squire, and just shoot them in the chest. Is it? Oh, whoa, whoa, look at the size of that number, that's insane. Um, one, two, three, zeros, four, five, six, 380 million damage. Can we go even bigger? So if it showed 380 million damage, is the limit breaking over into the billion range? So for example, 380 times three is more than a, or more than a thousand, so more than a billion. So if I do this, and I just take this this number, if I can just die like this. I want three million. Three, zero, 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 three million. This should create one billion damage. And once again, go back in there, make sure it actually says three billion, because if it doesn't say three million, three hundred million, three million, you know what I mean? If it doesn't say that, it won't work. And it it, do, it doesn't, it didn't. What? What is that? What? That one says one million. No, I want three. Zero, 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 zero. I want three million damage. Click save overwrite and we're going back in to double check and it's at 1 million damage what why, why, why won't you let me go high? i want to go higher erase this three one zero 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 that's 3.1 million times give me the number i'm gonna save it as a new unit watch test dog version two we will save this as a brand new unit maybe that'll work let's go and check test dog two stats 
There it is. There it is. 3.1 million times. This should break a billion damage with the bow. Let's see. And let me add test dog two, remove test dog one, and we'll save the faction. Here we go. Moment of truth. Can we break a billion damage in totally accurate battle simulator? Will it show? Test dog two, the arrow shot. Oh, okay. Uh, just do some counting. That's 589 billion damage. Did, did I math right? I mean, 589 million damage is a significant amount of damage, but it doesn't seem to be correct. 589 million damage. 589 million. Okay, let's we'll just increase the damage even more. I will get my billion. I swear to God. Take this three and we're turning it into a six, one, two, zero, 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 zero. That, that's just, just, just tons of damage. That's 6.1 million percent. And we'll call them test dog three. Double check damage three. It says 3.1. Okay, fine, 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 fine. fine. Six, two, zero, 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 zero. Okay, right, 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 right. And then we're gonna go over here, call it test dog four and make a brand new unit. New unit, verifying new unit. It still says 3.1. Why? This is 6,666,666, and I'm gonna give him a new hat. He's gonna get it. He's gonna get a new hat. He's gonna get this this fin thing. It's great. And then we're gonna take a picture of the fin thing. That's awesome. I'm making a brand new unit. Okay, look, look, six, 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 six. It's great. It's great. We're calling it Damage Dog Ultra. New name. Make new unit. Give me my damage numbers. I want a billion damage. Here he is. Fin Dog. Test Damage Dog. Ultra loads in. There it is. Six, 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 all the sixes. Let's do this. Let's add damage ultra. And now we are going to place damage ultra on the field with his little fin head and we'll drop some random squires that he can't miss. And now the moment of truth. Can I crack a billion damage and have it display on the screen? The arrow goes the moment of truth. The arrow of, <gasps> it's beautiful. Damn it, it's so big! 1,266,666,496 damage! We dealt a billion damage! Will it break at 10 billion? So we basically need to make this one digit bigger. So if I go like, hold on, how many, how many sixes is this? This is like seven, eight sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 66 million percent. And we need to add another item to him just to make him even more epic. I wanna give him like wings or something cool. I'm gonna give him demon wings because he's getting demonic doing that many sixes. And it'll be Damage Death Dog Mega Ultra. Take a picture of Damage Death Dog Mega Ultra. Save as a brand new unit. Quick verification that it actually deals eight sixes in multiplier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, a six is missing, but it's still 66 times. 66 million times. Yeah, that one. In theory, this should deal at least 10 billion damage. We should add another digit to this pile. Will the game still display that many digits? Here is Damage Test Dog Mega Ultra against the little army of squires. Please, please give me another digit. Give me 10 billion damage. The arrow of truth impacts. Oh, we may have found the visual limit of the damage mod. 1 billion damage is fine. 10 billion damage, not so much. The mod breaks and no longer shows you the damage numbers. And yet the rest of the damage numbers still apply, just the big ones don't show up. They're just, they're just too big. What if I zoom out? I'm gonna zoom out. Do we see the big numbers like in a weird spot anywhere on the screen? No, the big numbers are just, they're just gone. The big numbers are just gone. So 1 billion, that many digits is, is the limit. So this finally begs the question I've been wondering. If I shoot Saitama with those numbers, what do we see? Do we actually see the numbers? This is the unit that's broken. I'm sorry, we need to get the unit that is not broken. Mr. Ultra, seven digits. Verify that this is the correct hot dog. Mr. Hot Dog, shoot the squires. Boom, seven digits, 1.2 billion damage. Remove the squires, give me Saitama. Can Saitama take 1.2 damage? This is why I downloaded this mod. This is what I wanted to see. Can Saitama take it? Here we go. Moment of truth, Saitama's walking closer. I need, he might dodge the arrow. He's just gonna dodge, he's just gonna crow. He's gonna dodge the arrow. You need him to deal, oh man. Oh, I'm so dumb. Hold on. Oh, I just had a crow slot. Oh, I know this is gross, this is gross. Do you guys remember the God Archer mod? What if he shoots one, 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 one arrows on a 44 spread with zero recoil and one attack speed? 
okay? This, this is a bad idea. I am making a horrifying mistake if this actually works, okay? Can I summon this archer god? Can he please, for the love of God, fire that many arrows? And will all those arrows show damage numbers? What have I done? This is a huge mistake. This is a gross, disgusting mistake. If this actually works, please fire multiple arrows. Oh no, yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> This is, this is intense. This is intense. Will, where's, where's the damage numbers? Where's the damage numbers? Why the damage numbers? Does Saitama shrug off the damage? Does this modded Saitama just completely shrug off the damage and, 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 and the damage number Saitama deals was enough to kill him? He's got, what, what just happened? Okay, here's, here's a question. Here's a question, okay? What if I get like an ice giant? Right. It's a big fat target. Big fat target. And then over here, I'll just put a random unit, whatever. Uh, fire your giant volley of arrows. Don't get frozen solid. Fire your giant volley of arrows. And where are the damage numbers? There's the damage numbers. 190. It, it didn't it didn't go big. So if that didn't go big, is it because of the mod? Is it because of the multiple arrow mod? Did I just did, did it revert back to regular arrows? Quick test, summon my dude. Please shoot this ice giant and do your big, big, big damage, please. There it is. Big damage. That worked. So how do we hit Saitama with that now? What if I make his attack speed hugely fast? If I can't use the god mod to force the multiple arrows, what if I make the attack speed just obnoxiously quick? Like a, like a machine gun. Let's slap down our machine gun dog, and then I'll just do a quick little test like that. Machine gun dog, go! That's better. Now we're talking, look at all the billions of damage going off. Remove the archers, remove machine gun dog, bring machine dog go gun, that's a mouthful. Bring him closer, get Saitama. He needs to be close enough to not use super serious punch. And one of these arrows has to hit, one of them. Anyone, anyone needs to hit, there, we did it. We hit Saitama for 1.2 billion damage. We actually pulled it off. It is confirmed you can deal damage to him and with the blood mod you can actually remove his head and that 1.2 billion damage times 2 times 3 is not enough to kill Saitama. He's truly immortal. We're dealing billions upon billions of damage and he's still dodging all the arrows. Super serious punch killed our guy. 